told you, inside that plain box of a building, behind that door, hang hundreds of cuckoo clocks. Your ears would be poised. Just not. For this. This is the main show here. To Jim Fiorentino, this silent symphony is best enjoyed by eyes. No, the, the cuckoo sound don't thrill me at all. It's the craftsmanship in them. The 19th century craftsman of Germany's Black Forest. Here's a unusual clock. Hand carving the things they saw Schleser. around them. Animals. That's what gives a 91-year-old man a charge. That's called a hunter. When he spends time with clocks. These aren't da Vinci's or anything like that. These are just ordinary farmers that carve this stuff. And there's more. These are miniature cuckoo clocks. Those are American cuckoo clocks up on top. These are all Black Forest. From way I mean, back there Black Forest cuckoo clocks. to high up here. There's something for everybody here. Jim has transformed the warehouse. I bought it in 1957. That once housed his garage door business. Jim was gathering decades before eBay. I never bought anything on the internet. Saving before eight tracks. This is a diaphragm in here. Treasuring before long play albums. He didn't just hold on to his childhood bicycle. He kept his kindergarten pencil. Sure, I'm a saver. I'm a keeper. A saver. Increasingly aware he can't keep time from catching up with him. Used to be a doer, now he can't do nothing. Jim's clock repair shop sits empty now. The steps too hard to climb. My legs are, are bad. Eyes too weak for fine carving. But even if Jim has to hire help, work galore. He's determined to see his vision through. Get this place in shape where I want it. Jim knows his clocks, some nearly 200 years old, are coveted by collectors. They're worth a fortune now. I wouldn't even want to see the, the rush to, to get to them. It, it trampled you to death. But a man who never put a price on his things in life can't bear the thought of them being split up and sold after death. This is my life. I want to preserve it. Which is why Jim Fiorentino life. is overseeing the finishing touches Good. on the museum he plans to leave behind. There's my tower clock. The money he saved his entire life. That's my pride and joy up there. Already placed in a foundation to run it. So people, future generations will have something to look at. They don't have to look at the walls, they can look at cuckoo clock. Look so intently, they might not even have to listen. Do you ever want to just hear the cuckoos? Trust us. No, no, forget the cuckoos. Jim Fiorentino. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought up the subject. Wouldn't mind. Whatever. At all. <sighs> I hope it stays here and for people to enjoy. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Minneapolis.